AI code editors have completely changed the way we develop software. Now, any non-technical person who have never written even a single line of code can develop sophisticated softwares, very complex softwares using these AI code editors. There are a plenty of AI code editors out there. Some are good, some are bad, of course. I categorize these AI code editors in three different categories. Number one is web-based AI code editors, something like bold.new, project IDX, or lovable.dev. Second category is VS code extensions, something like GitHub Copilot, something like Klein, something like Pythagora. And the third category is native AI code editors, or you can say like folks of Visual Studio Code, something like Cursor AI, Windsurf AI, or A.dev. We'll analyze all these three different categories and shortlist the best one in each category. Why people choose these web-based AI code editors? I think most of the non-technical people who have never written even a single line of code, who don't know what is Visual Studio Code, who don't know how to set up a native AI code editor, so they go with this kind of like web-based AI code editors because these are easy to use. These are, you don't have to install anything on your computer. You don't need to set up any environments. You simply just go to a website, log in, and then you can just like start using it straight away. We have variety of different options in this category and I have only shortlisted the three AI code editors in this web-based category and we'll choose the best one among these three AI code editors. The first one is of course bold.new. The second one is lovable.dev and the third one is project IDX, which is actually backed by Google. Now lovable.dev comes with these different subscriptions and the cheapest one is $20 per month. And for these $20, it will give you 10 million tokens. Now, if you have no idea about tokens, every time you ask these AI code editors to change something or to create something, it will consume a certain amount of tokens. And usually in bold.new, if you're working on a simple website, you can easily consume three to four million tokens if you're asking for changings again and again. Bold.new is absolutely simple and easy to use. You can simply just give a prompt, whatever you want to create, and it will simply just create for you. To give you a demo, I'm going to create a landing page for my website. I went to DeepSeek, or you can use ChatGPT. I explained what I wanted, and then it created a very detailed prompt for me. So what I'll do, I'll simply just paste this prompt here. And then after that, I'll just click on enter, and you can see how easily it will just generate that landing page for me right within just few seconds. So it has now started like creating a project. It is now setting up a project. I gave it like a very detailed guideline about design and what's what's what I'm expecting from this landing page and it will just like create that for me and that's it within less than a minute it has created this beautiful landing page for us of course we can ask it to like make further changings but it has created an initial version of this landing page with all of these cool animations not only that with simply one click we can just deploy this project so i just clicked on this button and now it is going to deploy this project within just a minute so that's bold.new. If you're a marketer or a product manager, or you have no idea how to write code, or you have never written a single line of code in your entire life, bold.new is a good starting point for you. If you don't want to like set up any native AI code editors, if you don't want to install anything on your computer, if you just directly want to go to website and start building immediately, bold.new is for you. It can create some amazing business websites for you. If you want to develop some SaaS products or maybe some tools, you can do that in bold.new. Bold.new allows you to build backend and database for your project simply with just one click because it supports Superbase integration with just one click. Now, Superbase is a platform to build backend for your applications. Our second web-based AI code editor is lovable.dev. It works very similar to bold.new and it does have Superbase integration as well. And the pricing of lovable.dev is also very similar to bold.new. You can almost build anything in lovable.dev that you can build in bold.new. Our next web-based AI code editor is Project IDX, which is backed by Google. This is absolutely free to use. There is no cost to use this tool. I'm not a big fan of Project IDX because this is a bit slow for me. But if you want to develop cross-platform mobile applications in Flutter, you should use Project IDX. Because if you're a non-technical person and you have never developed mobile applications in Flutter, it can be very difficult for you to set up everything locally on your computer. It requires so many packages to be installed locally on your computer to run Flutter and Android Studio and all of those different things on your computer. So you might just like give up before you even start building your application. So Project IDX actually gives you free freedom to develop Flutter applications 
it's right there in your browser. Other than that, you can develop React applications, Next.js application, almost every possible framework is there that you want to use. So these web-based AI code editors are a good starting point for you. If you're just starting, you cannot build something very complex in these web-based AI code editors because these code editors have limitations. I have tried several times to build something complex in these web-based AI code editors, but after a certain point, you just cannot proceed any further. So this is good for you if you're a marketer or a product manager or an SEO expert, or if you just want to like build some landing pages for your business, this is good for you. You can use any of these web-based AI code editors and you can build some really good landing pages. But if you want to develop some serious SaaS applications or some complex tools, that can be a bit challenging for these web-based AI code editors. All right, our next category is VS Code extensions. If you are new to programming and you have never heard about VS Studio Code, VS Studio Code is a legendary code editor. Every single one of us, every single Every single software engineer has used VS Code in their life. Now, after AI got popular and all of these AI code editors got popular, so people started building plugins for VS Code to add AI coding functionality inside VS Code. You can download and install VS Code absolutely for free. There is no cost for, for that. The most famous VS Code extension for AI coding is GitHub Copilot. As soon as you download and install VS Code on your computer and you open it, you will see it is already installed inside your VS Code and it is actually free to start. Now, to use GitHub Copilot is a bit different than using Bolt.new. It has a slightly different interface and it has a little bit more human involvement and it gives you more access to your code. As you can see, I have already opened a project in here and GitHub Copilot is already aware of my project and I can actually ask you to make any changings in this project. Mm -hmm. What GitHub Copilot will do, it will actually identify that file that I want to make changings in. It will just go through that file and then it will just change any certain code in that particular file. The other famous examples of VS Code extensions are Klein and Pythagra. I have already installed Klein and Pythagra in here. What Klein allows you to do, it actually allows you to bring your own API key, your own large language model. There is no cost to use Klein. It's an absolutely free plugin to use, but to create AI code, you need API key from any of these large language models, something like DeepSeek, something like OpenAI, something like Gemini 2.0. And that's where you will have to pay. You will have to buy some credits to use these large language models. I recommend you using something like DeepSeek because DeepSeek is far more cheaper than any other large language models out there. And the performance of DeepSeek R1 is almost similar to OpenAI's O1 reasoning model. You can top up as little as $2 and start developing. Please. Now, after using these Visual Studio Code extensions for a while now, my personal opinion is you should go with something like Klein. Klein performs much better than even GitHub Copilot or even Pythagora. And of course, you got freedom to use any any large language model, but you're not going to pay anything to Klein. You are actually going to pay to buy tokens for these large language models, which can be as little as $2. Category number three, native AI code editors, some things like Cursor, Windsurf, or A.dev. Now, these are the serious tools. You can build almost any possible thing using these AI code editors. All these native AI code editors that we are going to discuss in today's video are actually folks of VS Code. Because VS Code is open source and its source code is available for anyone to use. So what these companies did, they used the source code of VS Code as base and then added AI functionalities on top of it. The first one we are going to talk about is Cursor. This is an amazing amazing revolutionary AI code editor, you can start using Cursor absolutely for free. Cursor costs $20 per month. It does have some limitation on usage, but it is good enough for you as a beginner. Next one is Windsurf by Codium and it is very similar to Cursor and it costs $15 per month, which is comparatively cheaper than Cursor. The next one is A.dev and it costs around $20 per month. And the best thing about A.dev, it is absolutely unlimited to use. To start using, let's suppose Cursor, you can simply just look for that after installation. Cursor has Cursor Composer, which is an AI coding agent. You ask it to do something, it will go through your code and make necessary changes wherever it is required. You, you don't need to mention any code files or any directories. You just need to ask it in plain English and it will just like perform that task and it will just find any relevant code files and make changings in there. Let's just ask it to create a landing page for us. Create a landing page for my habit tracker app. I have already set up an empty Next.js project. And once we click enter, what it will do, it will now go through the entire project directory. It will now create any required files, whatever is required. I will just like click on accept or whatever I whatever is it, it will do. I'll just need to like approve that. And then it's cursor AI agent will actually. And once I'll press enter, it will just like now start going through 
the entire directory and we look for certain files that needs to be changed and then like if there is a new file that needs to be generated if there is a new directory that needs to be generated if there is a new folder that needs to be generated it will just do that modify code and do everything for me all now while using cursor all you will have to do you will have to have a plan what you are building because cursor is going to do everything for you cursor is going to create directory for you cursor is going to create all of the required project files for you cursor is going to set up the entire project for you all you will have to do is you will have to know what you are building similarly this is windsurf windsurf works exactly as cursor works and because cursor has cursor ai agent so windsurf has a cascade cascade is just like cursor composer cascade is a ai coding agent that writes code whenever whatever you want to ask it it will just like go through the entire code base make necessary changes it works like a magic and similarly there is this a.dev you'll see all these tools actually look very similar because all of these tools are actually forks of vs code a.dev also has ai assistant and whenever you need to make any change in your code base it will just scan the entire code base and make changes for you now among all these three native ai code editors my personal favorite one is both cursor and windsurf so both cursor and windsurf are actually amazing most of the times when i'm developing something all i need to do i need to just have a plan i need to have a detailed project requirements then i'll just ask cursor or windsurf to start developing step by step you need to break down your project and cursor acts as your personal software engineer now if i have to choose one between cursor and windsurf I'll go with cursor because I use cursor in almost all of my projects in some of my projects I use windsurf but I believe cursor composer agent is more intelligent than cascade from windsurf now if you're an absolute beginner and you have no idea what I'm talking about and you will probably go with the easier solution which is like web based AI code editors I recommend you to maybe like spend half an hour in installation of these native AI code editors because you will need to download and install node on your computer you need to just set up like environment variables and then you can just download these native AI code editors once you are actually used to of these native AI code editors and it won't, it won't take more than one hour or two hours I have actually dedicated tutorials on this topic you, know, you can find that on my youtube channel but once you're used to of these native ai code editors i promise you these code editors have actually far far more capabilities of any of the web-based ai code editors and you, you saw that those web-based ai code editors cost almost similar to these native ai code editors but functionality wise these native ai code editors are like 100 times better than those web-based ai code editors you can build any complex software in these native ai code editor in cursor in in windsurf you can build like any sort of software any sort of mobile app or web app what you want to build you can build using cursor and windsor because these are serious ai code editor tools on web ai code editor tools you can create something like quick fun you can create like simple landing pages but not something complex so best one in my opinion if you want to start using any of these ai code editors is cursor go with cursor pay 20 dollars for cursor i this video is not sponsored by cursor at all just go ahead download cursor start using for free and start building using cursor learn cursor learn how to use cursor watch my videos dedicated videos on how to use cursor and i hope and i believe that you can build something amazing using cursor now if you have liked this video and if you are still watching this video please do not forget to subscribe this youtube channel our goal is to reach 100000 subscribers before the june 2025